Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome to this video on last night's Eurovision night on Saturday. It's now getting to Sunday morning right now. Today is the 15th of May. This week, or today, what you call it. Now it's, now it's Sunday today. Um, just before till dawn, what I call it, what it is. But, so now we're getting to uh, the aftermath for Eurovision Song Contest 2022 live from Turin, Italy. My mum, me and my mum really enjoyed it. Um, at the start, we're having um, garlic bread, Italian garlic bread, uh, gooey, cheesy um, garlic bread and start starters. And having, um, it's not just a circle pizza, but it's just like a wide sort of pizza, um, Italian pizza. That is so delicious as well, which is like so pretty tasty. It's like tasty, like just before the other music as well. So I really enjoyed it as well. So just since the first semi-final, including Ukraine, which is one of the best uh, music I listened to since just our uh, um, during the invasion, something's going on with during the the invasion of Ukraine's going on at the moment, which is so bad. Which is like that that coverage continues of the invasion of Ukraine at the moment. Um, just want to say it's love Ukraine here. Just like just so that I want to say it. At the end of this video, what I'm going to call it, or what they call it, the winners, what they call it. So I want to tell you something as well of the songs, which is Norway that I really enjoyed it since the London, since the London Eurovision party. We're just doing that, like, you know, the wolf mask and doing like that with the sunglasses, which is like fantastic. What's the song called? Oh no, banana. Da, 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 da. I can't remember what it is because that was. We do it. So I did it on Instagram Reels, but like TikTok, but but it's different different to that. So I really enjoyed it. Norway, really enjoy it. I voted for Norway, but uh, I want to vote for three countries. Uh, I'm choosing Poland, France, France, or France. Uh, um, what is it called? Um, I don't remember. What it, um, four countries or three countries to 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 choose them um, to um to vote. So. That's pretty cool. And also I really enjoyed our UK entry is Sam Ryder since the music video called Spaceman. This is a song called Spaceman since the music video of it that I perfectly enjoyed uh, along with the interview from this morning, Good Morning Britain, BBC News, Bre BBC Breakfast, Steph, Steph's his pack lunch last week and uh, everything as well in the media, which is fantastic of Sam Ryder of the, his latest song called Spaceman, and UK almost win the Eurovision, but UK won the 2022 Marcel Bissencon Awards, which is like, this is like the first time in 10 years that the United Kingdom wins the Marcel Bissencon Awards 2022 this year, which is like, wow, I can't believe this is the first time the UK won the Mar Marcel Bissencon the Zencon Awards for the first time in 10 years. Well, absolutely right. It's not just off the, the microphone with you fish logo on it. It's just like, um, um, you know that? You, this one as well. So uh, Sam Ryder posted on, on Instagram, or call it on his social, me social medias, that he won this year's Marcel Bissencon Awards today or tonight, during, just, before the, just before the performance for the final because we on to because we're in the twenty two, we're on the number twenty two, um, just before Poland or just after Australia, which is like one of the best songs I ever seen. And also, I really enjoyed the lighting and stuff like that, especially with the uh, uh, with the uh, the rocket and stuff like that <laughs> from the performance in the song for the final, which is fantastic. As part for a big five, um, that United Kingdom deserves to win. Apart from the big five, what should I call it? Which is like. You know what? I think Nike deserved to win, but absolutely, everyone's voted for Sam Ryder or the UK to vote for, for the UK, which is like, wow! I can't believe that you want to vote UK. That is so surreal and stuff like that. Close. Oh, that was this close. That getting to a televoting. That that somehow that Ukraine got the first. We just, we just since 2005, I call it because Ukraine won the Eurovision this year. Where at least the UK or Sam Ryder 
won the Marcel de Saint Con Awards 2022 this year, which is perfect, perfecto, or call it perfection of the first time in 10 years. Like, since 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 the start of Marcel de Saint Con Awards, apart from Eurovision Song Contest, which is held in Estonia, which is like, that is fantastic that it got the second award for Eurovision Song Contest, which is one of the most popular songs uh, I've ever heard, I ever sung, ever heard, like from the, like Spotify and stuff like that, YouTube and stuff, of mute, popular music videos and music television channels, and which is like, that was so fantastic. Um, um, Sam, Sam Ryder did us proud, did us proud as well. We did a UK proud as well, Boris Johnson on Twitter as well. Uh, congratulations to Ukraine and Sam Ryder did us, we did us proud that Sam Ryder did us proud as well. We did us proud for the second point and that's a good one for the first time they got an award for Marcel Besancon uh, Awards this year, which is fantastic. So I really enjoyed it as well. Um, bad luck for, for Germany, but at least Germany got during the telephone, which was like five points for Germany. In 18 minutes, it's like a, a number of it. So that is what they call it. So, you know what? I think I really enjoy it. Um, um, it's not just about winning the UK. It's like a semi-win, like one win um, as well. But at least UK won here. At least, well, UK got win, just win the Marcel Besencon, which is like what do you call it? I want to uh, explain. I want to check on Google. This is completely absolutely the first time winning, and this year, which is like the first time ever that UK won this one. So at least we do it. So big up to Sam Ryder, uh, our UK entries this year, which is fantastic as well, especially Ukraine. Or like a music artist's name is Kurla, uh, Karl Lush. It's like a music artist from Ukraine. A song called Stefina since the first semi final. I, I did it on Instagram Reels as well. That that Ukraine want to win for Ukraine. And they did it. I think I just like boom. That just like quick as a flash. Like boom. Fingers snapped. That. Ukraine deserved to win, and they did. Um, you know what just happened? That the invasion of Ukraine just happening right now, or was or something like that. That the UK deserves to win Eurovision this year, which is like, wow! I can't believe Ukraine won. Like, wow! That was so fantastic. Um, Salav Ukraine, or I call it at the end, like. Uh, to the audience as well, and to the people at home, or also around Europe, and also around the world as well, enjoy it too. That, that is so fantastic. I, I really, me and mum really enjoyed it, sitting on the couch together, watching Eurovision tonight, which is like, wow, what a best night of, what a best night this year, which is like the most popular night i ever seen. So I love it, really enjoyed it. Spectacular, perfectional. So fantastic, it looks fantastic. And UK wins for the first time ever since 1997. Not the Eurovision, proper Eurovision winner, not a proper one, but is 2020, but is Marcel Bissencon Awards Eurovision with a bracket Eurovision, uh, like a part of it. So that's cool. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy it. Take care, have a good day. Have a good night's sleep. Um, make sure you chill, relax, and lay in bed. Uh, don't have something to do about it after you vision. So, hope you guys enjoy, especially you, Liverpool. Liverpool won today. Um, just be just before you vision the grand final of you vision this year. Liverpool won. Um, how did they had had the penalties? Liverpool won after the penalties that didn't get made to the goal uh, before the extra time, which is like during the extra time that would happen as well. So. That Liverpool deserve to win the FA Cup final. I can't believe it. Thanks for watching. You guys enjoy it. Take care. Have a good day. It's love for Ukraine here. All right, call it. Pray for Ukraine. Pray for the people as well. Who That Ukrainian people watching Eurovision this week or this year. So, and perhaps it could happen in next year's Eurovision. Thanks for watching. Take care. And goodbye.